Carrie Kennedy has served as Colorado State Treasurer since 2007, and as Treasurer, she oversees a $6 billion investment pool. Carrie Kennedy joins us now on the phone from Denver. Carrie, you know I want to call you Madam Treasurer, but you insist that I call you Carrie, so I will. Let's talk a bit about the budget gap in Colorado. The state does not uh, face the same kind of dire fiscal circumstances that perhaps some other states in the union do, Illinois, California, New Jersey, New York, but you still have a budget gap of some $75 million that you need to close. What does Colorado need to do right now to get over this fiscal hump? Yeah, well, good morning, Eric, and thank you. We're not as bad off um, as some other areas around the country. We're thankful for that. We did close our fiscal year in balance and did not have to um, borrow as some other states have. But we've still got challenges in front of us, and certainly if Congress doesn't extend um, the support they've provided to the states, we'll have an even larger gap. But $75 million today, it could be over $250 million without those federal funds, and that's just going to require more cuts. Is uh, Treasurer Kennedy, are cuts the only way to deal with these budget gaps that states like yours confront, or is America at some point going to have to address the issue of entitlements, health care benefits, but also pensions for state and municipal employees? Yeah, well, we've used a variety of measures, um, but there have been significant cuts here in Colorado to schools and hospitals and universities, as there have been throughout the country. We also took steps, um, one of only a couple states in the country, to reduce the liabilities that we have in our states, our public pension system. <clears throat> so we've shaved those costs. Um, and, and, you know, that, that's hard on the public employees here who are going to uh, have to pay in more out of their own paychecks. They're going to have to work longer, and they're going to get less when they retire. But it was an important step for Colorado to take. I expect we'll see other states around the country going that direction as well. Uh, Kerry, do you think Colorado is going to have to cut further on the entitlements front, or for the time being, do you think you've done enough? Well, entitlements are more of an issue for the federal government. Um, with our public pension system, we are now on a trajectory uh, for solvency and to maintain the solvency of that fund over the long term. Um, so I don't anticipate more changes there. But for states, it's, it's more funding schools, um, funding roads funding prisons. These are where we have made such significant reductions that there really isn't room to cut farther, and that's the real challenge. We're starting to see signs of uh, recovery in our revenues here in Colorado three out of the last four months. Um, we did have positive year-over-year -year growth in our revenues, and that was after 15 months of decline. So we're hopeful our revenues are picking up and we won't have to make these draconian cuts. Carrie, if you look around the country right now at states like California, Illinois, how serious would you say the state of municipal and state finances is right now? Well, for states like California as an example, I think it's extremely serious there. And um, we see actions by Governor Schwarzenegger to try to pay state employees minimum wage. That is a drastic measure. Um, that state borrowed for many, many years to balance its budget. Um, and I think uh, their state is in real trouble. Um, other states like Colorado have been more fiscally disciplined. And, and I, in California, you know, really look at the history of Prop 13 and other voter-approved measures that started that state down a path of fiscal irres irresponsibility. But I think it's state by state, Eric. Kerry, I want to thank you very much for joining us this morning. That is Kerry Kennedy, Colorado State Treasurer, on the phone from Denver. Colorado may be better off than some states, but it clearly still has a few challenges on its hands.